So there's been a bit of a story that we really haven't touched much lately, and that's the Starbucks debacle, and it really is kind of a debacle at the moment. The reason being is because of the fact that this story is very, very fluid at the moment. It is rapidly changing to the point where if I made a video about it, it would need updating as soon as it went up. Uh, so I'm waiting for things to calm down a little bit, and then I might do a full review over the whole sort of situation. Uh, but one part of it that I really was really interested in was a black guy walks into Starbucks, says racist, immediately gets free coffee. Now, I think this heading is a little misleading, um, but we'll get into that in a sec. But yeah, I completely agree with the subheading. White guilt has gone completely wild, especially at Starbucks. And we'll jump into the story. We'll give you my thoughts and... Uh, yeah. In a new video shows a black man walking into Starbucks, dropping the word racist, and immediately being given a free coffee. It's not exactly true what happened, but we'll keep going. The stunt was in response to the news that Starbucks is set to close 8,000 stores for the afternoon for race bias training. If someone would like to record that and put it on YouTube, I'd love to see that. Obviously, keep in confines of the law. Not asking anyone to break the law. But I would definitely love to see what that race bias training was like. That's for sure. Brian Sharp, who goes by the name of Hope Jesus on Twitter, recorded himself walking into Starbucks telling the barista, I heard you all were racist and I came to get my free coffee. Do you think that would work if he was white? Because if it doesn't, they're legally opening themselves up for discrimination. And, and and what? Okay, so you're going to give everybody a free coffee. Is that your plan? That's your business module. Do you know how much that would cost your business? I know Starbucks is a large corporation, yada, yada, yada. But holy dilly, where does it stop? Is it free cup of coffee every day? Or is it only a once-off? How do you how do you stop people going from Starbucks to Starbucks to Starbucks and getting a free coffee? It, it is a very slippery slope that they are sliding down at a thousand miles an hour, not realizing how this is going to hurt them in the end. And the Starbucks CEO is completely handling this wrong. He is completely catering to them. The outcry from the progressive left basically can get him to do whatever they want. The only time this is going to stop is when they get bored from doing it. At this point, it literally is a mental disorder. But let's keep going. Is this a real thing? She says, I mean, I'll give you one. I saw on my Twitter last night and I was like, what the F you... C.K. Sharp gets his free coffee and leaves the store. Quote, Black privilege gets me free coffee. I love racism. Only in America, he subsequently tweeted. Now, at the end of the day, um, I think he's sort of taking the piss out of him a little bit, to be honest. I, I don't think he actually believes they're racist or anything like that. He's just going through and doing this as a bit of a PR stunt or a stunt for his Twitter, whatever, but yeah, I, yeah, quite interesting, but yeah, like I said, I wonder if I would get a free coffee because I'm white, makes you wonder, doesn't it? Other users dubbed the video the Starbucks Challenge, suggesting more people try and copy shape stunt in coming days, and you know this is going to blow out of proportion, don't you? Starbucks will close 8,000 stores on May 29th, so 175,000 employees can undergo Racial tolerance training. I wonder if they would give that for people that discriminated against white people. The decision was made in response to an incident in Philadelphia where two black men entered a Starbucks, asked to use a bathroom. When an employee told them it was only for paying customers, the men sat in the store without ordering. The manager then called the police and the men were arrested. I challenged the whole arrested part. They were taken away, yes but they were released later without charge, and Starbucks hasn't pressed charges. 
So I don't think anyone was technically arrested. They were escorted out and taken for a little drive. I, I don't know. Do you have to be actually be charged to be arrested? But anyway. Back in 2015, Starbucks announced it was launching a nationwide program where baristas would write the words race together on Starbucks cups to start a conversation about race. The initiative was a complete failure and became the laughing stock of the internet. Don't know why that happened at all. Um, but guys, yeah, look, uh, we do have the video of him actually walking in. We'll play that for you now, and then we'll give you a little wrap-up. We about to go inside, get my free coffee. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? About to get my free coffee. How you doing? Good, how are you? Alright, I heard y'all was racist, so I came to get my um free coffee. I saw that. Yeah, I heard you guys don't like black people, so I wanted to get my Starbucks reparations Not voucher. Our store. What's that? Is that a real thing? It's a real thing. I mean I'll give it to you. I yeah, I saw that on my Twitter last night. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I need I need a free coffee. I'll give you a free coffee. That's what I'm yeah, talking about. Happened. This Where is justice. This is justice. This is what I'm talking about. It's great customer service. Yeah, I was reading that and I was like, there is no way. Absolutely. Could you imagine? Never here. Here. You just throw some milk in it? Sure. What kind? Uh, whole. Yeah, reparations, man. <laughs> Gotta get my reparations for being black in America. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Do you have any flavors in it? We got caramel, hazelnut. I'll take caramel. Caramel, sure. Is that gonna make it sweet? Uh, do you want it to? Yes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Huh? What's your name? I appreciate you. Amanda, Amanda, you are a great. Last day here until the fall. Is it? You're amazing. Thank you. I'm a student at Ryder and uh, our finals are starting next week. Uh-huh. So uh, I had to like stop working so I can do my finals and stuff and then I go home. I wish you the best. Thank you. Yeah. You too. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You got to get your free coffee out here, man. You got to get your Starbucks reparations, man. Huh? Yeah. This is how we do, man. Black Lives Matter, baby. So let's deal with this video because there's a bit of a backlash aiming at this guy for doing it. He is trolling them. My God, when did the right lose its sense of humor? A lot of people on the right have lost their shit over this guy. He is deliberately mocking them. He is saying that they are that far gone that he can walk in, claim they're a racist, and get a free coffee. If anybody does not understand that, please check yourself into a hospital, get an emergency shot of humor, and then proceed to get back on the internet. Look, at the end of the day, yeah, people going on about him, guys, he's trolling them. It's what the right does best, okay? Don't don't hate the guy. I, I think it's funny as. And 
I even tweeted at him to see if I could use this video. He hasn't answered this point in time, so hopefully he says yes before this video goes up. But at the end of the day, guys, yeah, love the player, hate the game. And, yeah, I, I love the fact that he did this and, and that he recorded it. I think it's ballsy as something or rather, and good on him for doing it. Uh, as for her, a uh, little wet behind the ears still, I, I think is a little the best way to describe her. Um, the fact that she believed this is insane. I don't know if she was just dense or if she just played along or if she just didn't want to say no. Amanda, if you watch this video, I, I'm sorry, darling, but you you need to grow up a little. Uh, you need to get a little older and realise that people deliberately will mock you for this. But, hey, look, she says she's not working at Starbucks anymore. That was her last day, so... Who knows, maybe she didn't care. Uh, there is a bit of a situation where people are going through and claiming that she could actually face violations of company policy. Uh, I don't think Starbucks would actually do that because at the end of the day, that would then, yeah, that would be just, people would protest that. So I, I don't think anything would happen to her. Uh, hopefully, Amanda, when you go back to working at Starbucks, you'll be a little older and a little wiser and you'll realise that people troll people what the right does best um but yeah at the end of the day I, I can't believe she even offered him ways of sweetening the coffee uh, do you like no she went full out regarding starbucks and their coffee service so dude props to you man i love the video um but guys yeah as, as for people losing their shit over this guy don't he's trolling them okay he's one of us he's a troll um he is actually reportedly doing a poll online at the moment saying should he go on the Alex Jones show 86% said yes so it looks like he might be going on there um, so obviously jump onto Alex Jones he'll have the interview up sooner or later hopefully um, but yeah guys at the end of the day yeah uh, congratulations dude I love the I love the game and yeah like yeah kudos but I, I don't know guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below do you think that this is a slippery slope? How, where does Starbucks stop this? Does it is it is it only black people? Can Mexican people go in? What about gingers? Gingers are a repressed minority. Can gingers go in and ask for coffee as well because they're repressed? Like this does not stop. This literally does not stop. What about white people over in South Africa? God damn it! We're a repressed minority. Give me my coffee. This is how far gone you guys are on the left. You really have, you really have lost the clue right about now. But guys, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.